Shalom Rastafari. Uh, Shabbat Shalom, brothers and sisters, send that salam. Let's can to this right here. Now, this is in the West, this is called Good Friday. Or they've called this day Good Friday, Friday, March 29th, uh, 2013. And actually, this would be what it was it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's actually the fourth day of the unleavened bread, according to our ancient Hebrew. Our, our ancient Ethiopian, Hebrew, black, Jewish, from the real root of the Afro-Shemitic. Afro-Shemitic is another way of saying Hebrew. And you can look it up, you can look it up for yourself. Anyway, um, it's called Good Friday, right? And I wanted to touch on that particular theme. You know, they, they always say, um, or they used to say, and you'll find it written that the only good N-word is a, you know, the only good N word is a dead N word. It's kind of very interesting when you think about it. Good, Good Friday, and and the real truth, the half of the story that hasn't been told. And what you're seeing in front of you is uh, is two covers from uh, Jean Lamar's um, Color of the Cross. And then we learned that actually there's a part two resurrection. Now, folks might be critical. Uh, it's not as you know, like Mel Gibson, he had, you know, millions of dollars, had the papal authority and all of that back in him. And a lot of these, even the Bible movie on um, on his story channel. Okay, yeah, there's a, there's a black Samson and he has dreadlocks. Okay. All right. Yeah, you know, but, but, but everybody else is whitewashed. Anyway. You know, people are like, well, we have to give thanks. No, we have to give thanks and praise to the God and Father of our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we have to know the, um, the, the meaning, you know, and the reason for the season, right, the reason for the season. So for um, black, um, um, black Friday, is it a Black Friday? Is, is that what it really is? Good Friday, the only good uh, N-word, the only good nigger is a dead nigger. You understand, is this the reason why they've been lynching our people? You understand, as some so-called sick and twisted, um, 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 whitewashed, you understand, that's not to say in a good way. You understand, remember, no white bread, no white flour, no white rice, no white sugar, um, and probably none of that non-iodine salt as well. And no, of course, no white Jesus as well, right? Anyway, if you if if you're not up on that, if you think we're being racist, then go watch some cartoons. You know, understand? But you can't say you haven't been told. You understand? You've been told the truth, and you don't want to you don't want to hear the truth because you prefer to believe a lie. But for my brothers and sisters, this is a really excellent um, movie. There's a part one and a part two, right? First is the color of the cross, and then the second part is resurrection. Now. From what I know of, of the scriptures, you know, there's things I could have counseled, you know, the filmmakers and on, you know, who are doing a, quote, black Jesus film or black Christ or black Messiah film, but we wasn't consulted. If we are, if we are it would be a very good movie because it would be very accurate as well. But hopefully, Jawul and that, those are things to come, right? The main thing I wanted to, first of all, say is for Good Friday, for the brothers and sisters, you got to check this out. I think you can even find on the Internet. We haven't kind of linked it. Hopefully there's some videos out there of it that we can link in the future. So it can be at least a, ones can watch it for themselves. If they can't afford to get a copy from our, you know, from our educational vids and, and, and doc vids or here or there, if they can't find it, then look for it. Search, seek, and you shall find. Right, seeking you shall find. But if you want to get, you know, a copy of you can check our um, discipleship, you know, video, doc videos and everything at LOJsociety.org, or you can look for it on the Internet as well. This is for Good Friday, for this season, for the, you know, the Passover season, for the um, um, Easter so-called season. Quote, you have to quote, end quote, on all of that. So this is the first thing we want to, um, kind of show and demonstrate. But the second thing is that Christ was not crucified on a Friday, you know, because that, that doesn't make three days. I mean, that's kind of interesting, right? It doesn't make, I mean, some of y'all can't even count to three. 
You understand that most of them can't even count to three. Therefore, they worship the counterfeit trinity because they can't even count to, to, to three. You understand Friday, Saturday, Sunday, even if you say there's 12 hours in a day, as Yeshua said, as Adonai said, even if you say there's 12 hours in a day, you can't find 12 hours in that day. You just won't find 12 hours that since he was crucified, what, to, it, was, it was like a 3 o'clock to, to roughly 3 o'clock, the ninth hour and everything like that, the earthquake and all of that occurred. And so it was already the day, that, that whole Friday, you understand, basically was, was a done deal. You know what I'm saying? So there's not three days. So from the Gentile, white, Western, um, romantically, you know, those who like romance, you know, if you're into romance, you know, romancing the serpent stone, then you're going to believe that particular lie. But for my brothers and sisters who are learning the truth, you understand, Christ was not crucified on a Friday. In fact, I even looked up Friday. Within the scripture, you know, I actually looked up Friday, didn't find it. You understand? It didn't say he was crucified on, on um, what would you call it, on the, the sixth day. It didn't say he was crucified on the sixth day. You understand? It didn't say he was crucified on the Friday. Where do we get that Friday thing from? That's what I want to get into in the part two. So what day was our Savior, was the Moshiach, our black Lord and Savior, crucified on, if not a Friday. So stay tuned. More to come, y'all willing. Shalom, Rastafari. Just point, check out this movie, and Gene Lamar, I don't know if you've seen in this, a Central Riddick, and all the other, few of the other brothers and sisters that I remember from uh, B.C., <laughs> from B.C. They'll know what we mean by B.C. Um, you know, good job still. Good job. Very good job. You understand? And um, if you want our, our technical scriptural counsel on even making a much tighter story, you understand, then, then check I and I, your, your brother um, from Lion of Judah Society. Shalom. Aras Tefari.